Existing Virgin Media customers can now get their hands on a brand new router if they want to. Launched almost a year ago now, the redesigned Hub 3.0 shares the same vertical form factor as its predecessors but adopts a more industrial, harsher, utilitarian design. The router is available to all new Virgin Media broadband customers for free, as mentioned. Existing customers can upgrade to it for a fee, with the device supporting the company's maximum download speed of 300 megabit per second. However, since this is a DOCSIS 3.0 modem with 24 bonded downstream channels and 8 upstream ones, the theoretical download and upload speeds are far, far higher. Sadly, the Super Hub 3 is not DOCSIS 3.1 compatible which would have made it the first mainstream broadband router to support multi-gigabit download and upload speeds available in black or white. The router looks a bit like a small speaker, thanks to its grilled sides and blend seamlessly in with any modern decor. Congrats to the design team for coming up with something that looks less like a bland piece of tech and more like a piece of art. The front panel hosts the Wi-Fi light, the internet activity light, a phone light, a power LED and the WPS button. In normal operation, one white soft light should remain on and like the blinking blue lights on the previous one. Around the back you get two inactive slash disabled telephone ports, four gigabit ethernet ports, a reset button, the power switch, a port for the power cable and the coaxial cable connector. Setting up the router is a doddle and doesn't require any specific skill other than the ability to use the bundled proprietary spanner. Virgin Media's online do-it-yourself guides are as straightforward as can be, and if you run into any issues, an operator can run a diagnostic test remotely and decide whether to send an engineer on site. Note that the router comes with stickers featuring your login details so that you can display these around the house. Just be careful that these aren't visible through your windows. There's also a removable card slotted in the router's base, along with yet another sticker underneath the device. Inside is where all the action happens. The modem which is built by Eris and is known as the TG2492LGVM, is packed with 5 antennas but doesn't have any USB ports. This means you won't be able to connect a hard drive or a printer to it directly. A rather major letdown compared to some of the competition on the market. The two telephone ports pave the way for a potential voice over IP service. Currently, the phone connection on Virgin Media is physically separate from the broadband one, merging the two together makes sense and could lead to some serious cost savings and ease problem solving. There's support for 802.11 acres Wi-Fi with up to three spatial streams on the 5 GHz band. Other features include WebSafe, F-Secure Safe and the usual DHCP and firewall which can be tweaked. The modem comes with a rather big power supply unit, a far heftier one compared to the previous Superhub. Both are rated at 65W and have the same physical connector, while the increase in size won't bother many, modems are often positioned in cramped spaces which makes massive sys attack unsightly. For our hands-on, the router was connected on a 50 megabit per second Virgin Media broadband fiber line which means that the modem was never totally maxed out. It didn't even break a sweat. The Super Hub 3 wasn't used for anything other than bog standard web browsing. There have been reports about issues encountered by users, especially gamers and anyone whose work can be affected by high latency. Others have reported problems when the router was put in modem mode and connected to another router. Many said that the Super Hub would just shut down the port used by the external router. Last December, the root of the issue was identified as the Intel Puma 6 chipset that powers the modem, and the semiconductor giant has confirmed that there will be a firmware update that should, in theory, eliminate excessive lag and packet loss.